Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm showing you real data from Zillow, Redfin, uh, the government, um, um, housing authority, whatever, the real estate companies. I'm showing you real data and how you are being manipulated. How you've been programmed to think a certain way and have a certain perception about the conditions, standards, and life in America. Okay? Now, there are 15 million vacant homes in America. 15 million. Yet, they say there is a housing shortage. That's what the media says. Who controls the media? The government. Who controls the government? Corporate America. Who controls corporate America? The billionaires. See? So they create an illusion of a housing shortage to justify increasing the prices. To justify the inflated, bloated cost of housing. It's all a lie, guys. There are 145 million homes in the United States. Okay? 145 million. Okay? 15 million are vacant. Okay? That's 10% of the houses. It's just 15 million empty houses out there somewhere. And I understand that some of them are for, for um, investments. Some of them are f um, for vacation rentals. I mean, vacation use. Some of them are um, for a remodel. Or, you know, whatever the reason is. But there are a lot of them that are just sitting empty. See? There are a lot of them have just been bought and taken off the market. By strategists, by financial investment strategists to create a housing shortage. There's no housing shortage, guys. There are plenty of homes out there for sale. A housing shortage means that every house is occupied that's available and then there's a housing shortage. It's like going to the store and there's no milk in the store. There, there's a milk shortage. There can't be a cooler full of milk in the back and say there's a milk shortage. See, but see, scarcity sells. Scarcity creates an inflated price because people, because scarcity creates fear. See, and when people see these numbers, there's a housing shortage. You better get a house now. All that they they they, they, they operate with fear. See, and that's the manipulation of the system. That's why I say that corporate America controls the media. And the media prom promotes fear. Let's take a look, guys. The United States is experiencing a housing shortage with estimates ranging from 1 to 7 million. What kind of estimate is that? From 1 to 7 million? That's huge. It should be 1 to 2 million, you know, 3 to 4, 5 million. But 1 to 7 million? So let's just put that, they say it at 4.5 million. That's the housing shortage. But there are 15 million vacant homes. See? Because the millionaires have bought a lot of homes. The billionaires, these corporations, they're buying a lot of homes. They're taking them off the market. They let them sit empty as a tax write-off to increase, to increase the value 
to artificially increase the value of homes. So when the, when the, when the artificial increase of the value of, of homes go up, so do the taxes. See, so it's all a scam, guys. The United States boasts approximately 15 million vacant homes, a staggering number that accounts for 10 percent of the country's total housing inventory. These homes stand like silent sentinels. Their windows boarded up, lawns overgrown, and dreams of habitation deferred. Not all of them. That's just a percentage of them. Of homes that are boarded up, you know, in like rundown cities, maybe Detroit or um, um, somewhere, and maybe um, St. Louis or uh, um, Redford, Illinois. You know, different areas of of, of, of the country that is an undesirable place to live. The number of housing units in the United States was approximately 144 million in 2022, which was a 1% increase from the previous year. See, see guys, so there is no housing shortage. Let's see how many houses for sale. Hold on one second. Okay, guys, here we go. Okay, guys, here we go. According to Redfin, there are currently 1.8 million residential homes for sale in the United States. The direction and pace at which how the supply change indicate whether the options for buyers are increasing or decreasing. There are currently 1.8 million residential homes for sale in the United States. See? But they say there's a four million there's a, you know there, there's a housing shortage. There's not a housing shortage. There are plenty of homes. There's a Wage shortage. That's what a shortage is. There, there are plenty of overpriced, inflated, artificial inflated homes out there for sale. See? And so now, hold on guys. And now, this is the squeeze right here. See? So housing is over, over inflated, it's overpriced, it's out of the reach of a lot of um, um, slave work, um, wage, wage slaves is out of reach. Cause now you need to be able to make, you need to be making, you need to be making over a hundred thousand dollars a year to afford the average home right now. Okay. So you thought that you want to pursue an alternative way of living, but a lot of Cities are putting restrictions on alternative living. So you got to find a city or a town where alternative living is an option. Such as van dwelling, car camping, whatever it is, whatever you have to do to get to the next phase of your life. It's a grants pass decision gives local governments a greater ability to enact and enforce criminal penalties for acts like public camping or sleeping even in localities where limited local shelter space contribute to these acts so now they have outlawed homelessness for the most part you know which I understand that homelessness can become a problem because there are a lot of homeless people that are addicts and that are have mental illness. So I understand that. But I'm just saying, all I'm saying is that they're, they're putting a squeeze on society. See? So you got to be careful, guys. You got you to be careful and understand that you're being manipulated into thinking that there's scarcity when there's not. There's no scarcity. There's no scarcity. There are plenty of homes. See, so like again, like I said before, you have to unplug from the matrix in order to realize that you've been manipulated, you've been hoodwinked, you've been bamboozled into having a perception about scarcity and about value. See, scarcity creates value because you think you're missing out on something, you think you're losing something. But the only thing that you're losing when you don't own a home. The only thing that you're losing is comfort 
and convenience. And those are the two killers of progress, of creativity, comfort and convenience. Because when everything is comfortable and everything is convenient, you put your guard down. You lose your survival skills. You lose your hunting skills. And you rely totally on the government and the system. And when you do that, they can jack the prices up, raise the, the raise the rent, raise your taxes, poison your food, brainwash and manipulate you, and keep you on the plantation. See? So that's how it works, guys. So guys, okay, I'm, I'm going to end right there, guys. Just wanted to show you that, how... There is no housing shortage. There are, there are plenty of homes out there available. I just showed you that 1.8 million homes for sale. A housing shortage means that all the houses are, are full. There's nothing available on the market. And it, it, it's, it's overcrowded. Like a hotel, when a hotel is full, it's full. They may leave they may leave five rooms vacant for emergencies. When the parking lot is full, it's full. See? When something is full, it's full. So if there's a shortage, that means that, that means the homes are, uh, 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 there are no more homes available. But as I just showed you, according to Red Friend, there are 1.8 million homes available. So there's no there's no housing shortage with 15 million houses. With 15 million houses vacant. See? Okay, guys, that's it for that video, guys. Remember, guys, to download and deploy your anti virus software, unplug and debug and unplug from the matrix. Remember, guys, to keep your life clean, keep your car clean, keep your mind clean, keep your body clean, keep your diet clean, guys. Drink plenty of spring water to flush out the toxins, the chemicals, and the poisons that's in the food supply. Guys, you already been poisoning. You've been micro poisoning every day because there's glyphosate all over your barley as glyphosate which is a herbicide that has that has been linked to cancer it has been linked to cancer it's a herbicide made by Monsanto Monsanto is now bare glyphosate is the number one weed killer sold at Home Depot and Lowe's and Walmart named Roundup and it's a poisonous and it's toxic. And it's very deadly. And it is in all your oatmeal. It's on all your bread. Corn. Soybean. Lentils. Chickpeas. It's on everything. They found it in orange juice. They found it in beer. They found it in wine. Cranberries everywhere, guys. It's a toxic poison. Astrazen is another one, another herbicide that's also a toxic poison and it's very detrimental to aquatic life. That's why they tell you when you spray the Roundup on your lawn, your grass, whatever you're going to spray it at, mm -hmm. keep your pets inside because if they eat it, they're going to die because it's poison. They might not die, but they're going to get sick because it's poison. Okay, guys, that's what I'm saying. You got to you gotta resurrect your consciousness. You have to resurrect your consciousness and unplug from the matrix and understand and realize what's going on in your environment. Like you're being attacked by on every side. You are in several wars and you don't even realize it. You're in an economic, financial war. You're in a biological war. This chemical warfare going on. You're in an information war. You've been censored, but you've been misinformed. And you've been drugged with pharmaceutical drugs. You got fentanyl on the streets, crystal meth on the streets. 
We got you smoking cigarettes. Got you drinking alcohol. Got you out here prostituting yourself, having unprotected self, unprotected sex with strangers. It's psycho. It's psycho. It's psychopathy. It is psychopathy. The unfettered behavior of so-called Christians and Muslims. It's, it's psychopathy. People, rein yourself back in. Get a hold of yourself. Calm down. Sit down somewhere. And stop all the nonsense. See? That way you can focus on what you need to do. You can focus on your next move. In life. Even your academics, they, they, they're brainwashed. Because your academics, they smoking cigarettes. They having unprotected sex. They having orgies and doing all kind of weird old psychotic stuff. Celebrating all these holidays, spending money, worrying about the interest rate. There's no way that you're worrying about the cost of living and you're using DoorDash every day or every other day. There's no way you're worrying about the cost of living. So that's why the 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 the, the billionaires, that's why they keep going up on the cost of everything. Because they see that you are irrational, irresponsible, and, and stupid with your spending habits. They see these idiots paying five dollars for a bag of potato chips. They, they, they can't believe it. They say they, they, this is too easy. That's what the billionaires are saying. This is too easy. These people are totally inept. These people are spending a million dollars for a house that cost eight thousand dollars fifty years ago. With, 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 with very minimum upgrade. It's unreal. But that's the state of the society. No one's thinking. Everybody thinking everything's fine, normal, until hyperinflation kick in. And then a dozen eggs cost $10. People rent storage units left and right. One hundred to five hundred dollars for a storage unit to keep some junk they're gonna throw away anyway, probably. It's crazy. Okay, guys. Until next time, guys. Until next time, guys. Remember to unplug from the matrix. And the first step to unplugging from the matrix is to detox your eating habits. And detox the information that you are consuming. Realize that you've been programmed to hate, to lie, to steal. To shop and to obey. Those are all programs. And when you behave like that, it's only going to benefit the matrix, the handlers. The people that you claim you hate, but you you helping them build your prison. You helping them to melt the ice under your feet. Come on, guys, stop helping the enemy. You help yourself. Until next time, guys. I'm Contraband Seven Seven Seven, and I'm signing off. Peace.